Jane Curry and Angie Dimitro are enjoying a typical day in their Osho home with friends and family. However, on the day of November 3rd, the two women were brutally beaten outside their children's elementary school. The two women said they were attacked simply because they were lesbians. The one thing, apart from anger, wretched anger that I felt once this was done, I was embarrassed that this guy actually had the audacity to punch me in the face. Photos taken by witnesses show just how bad these two women were brutally attacked. According to the Stats Canada, police services which patrol 87% of Canada's population suggest that there's been 832 hate crimes here in Canada. Six out of the ten are due to race, whereas one quarter is due to religion, and only one out of ten cases are due to sexual orientation. Hate crimes make about 1% of all Canada's violent crimes. Yeah. <laughs> Howard Shulman, coordinator for 519 Anti-Violence Community Centre, though sympathetic towards the women, suggests that the alleged may get off with a lighter sentence. But what often happens uh, in the system, unfortunately, is that a lot of bashers are usually first-time offenders. Mm -hmm. And even though it's been quite clear why they've assaulted somebody, um, if they're first-time offenders and they've been found guilty, the judges are oftentimes uh, really uh, don't want to give a harsher sentence to a first-time offender. So they will be found uh, guilty of committing an assault, but not an assault that was uh, mitigated by hatred. But that isn't how Angie Dimitro will see it. If you do the crime, you do the time. That's it. If you're going to target somebody and you don't want to have the audacity to do that, when you get busted, that's it. I don't think it should be swept under the rug. I'm Khalid Miller for Ion Sheridan.